šalje jedan dan kurira gdje kaže da su ovaj smještani sela i obor povuku. Uh, center courier one day. Da ih nema više u 
Sela Da se isto tako dimnjaci na kućama ne puši. Isti scenario znači puštena stoka. The same scenario that means uh, the livestock abandoned. Ovaj isto tako selo Rahovca, ne 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 dime se više od đaci. Uh, same thing with the village of Orahovica again, no smoke coming from the chimneys. Kad je uh, grupa koja uh, koja je uh, išla uh, sastavljena je bila iz mješovite znači uh, uh, Tad smo se mi zvali Teo Potičari, Teo Sučeska, Teo Stari Grad, znači Srebrenica. Teo Bajramovići, znači sve prema teritorijalnim, prema mjestima gdje su živi. Znači sve prema teritorijalnim, prema mjestima gdje su živi. Napravili smo jedno, jedno, mi smo ga zvali, pretres terena. Da se vidimo da nema više nikoga na tim prostorima. Znamo tačno da nema nikog imala da se useljava u naše izbjeglice u tehnički. Da vam ne pričam, znači, kad su u pitanju rana, ono isti scenariju, sve, ako treba da ponavljam, recite mi. So, that I don't repeat the same story again with the livestock and food, but if you need me to repeat it, I will do it. Do you need me to? Yeah, just just keep where these where this happened. Just please just mention it. Yeah, kada to to govorilo, ne molim vas da to spomenete. Da. Yeah. Kad na tim mjestima kad je se to dogodilo, onda ja bih vas molim da to spomenete da to kaže. Znači ovaj isti scenario opet izbjeglice ovaj sa susjednih opština onaj idu odmah potragu za hranom idu u potragu sad za odjeću, znači nema više odjeći, nema više prodavnica, nema ništa. So, again, the same, the same scenario as before, that the people from the surrounding uh, municipalities would come into uh, the villages then to, in searching for food and also searching for clothes, because there, there, was no, uh, there were no shops open anymore. Za uh, For shoes. Onda onaj, svaki dan sve više i više je bilo porušenih kuća, jer četnici sad na ove rubne dijelove onaj, izlače i tenkove i topove i ruše direktno kuće gađaju. Tako da odmah onaj... Mjesto u kojih je bila porušena kuća, oni odmah imaju izvadni prozor, ako su četnici gađali u kuću pa sušli u prozor, jedan dio onaj zida, oni idu skidaju krov, pa skidaju ciglu, pa zazidaju svoju kuću i stavio je prozor, četnički prozor stavio na svoju kuću da bi mogu da živi opet pomoću. And so if, for example, if someone had the windows were broken on their house, then they would go and either take bricks to, to break the window up or else take a, a window from a Chetnik house to replace it so that they would be able to continue living there. Tokom uh, čitavog uh, tog ratnog perioda se dešavaju iste stvari, znači na svim terenima. Uh, znači, znači, the whole of this, this war, um, this was happening, this, the same thing was happening in all areas. I ova ekipa koja je, koja je radila na pretesu, Zufa je išao iz svog pravca, Teo Sučeska. Zufa je išao iz Sučeska. Alke Fustić je sa jednim dijelom svoje jedinice u toku noći prošao kroz 
četničke kroz grad, znači prebacivali su i došli su u selo Bajramović i Džoze, selo Džoze koji su bili, Džoze su bile raštrka, Džoze, Džozići, 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 i na kraju. Josici. Josici. Okay. Uh, and Asif came from uh, together with a few of his fighters from uh, a few of his people uh, from Stalingrad. Uh, they, they went through the town of uh, Srebrenica around the outskirts of the town of Srebrenica at night uh, and managed to get down to Baramovici and then from Baramovici on to another village called uh, Josici. That's uh, D Z O J I C E I. Oni su, Džuzići su bili raštrkani, odnosno na selo Vajramovića gdje je bilo nekih 40-50 onaj kuća na jednu vjestu. Džuzići je bilo veoma spred out vilič, kompared to the vilič of Vajramovića, which had a good 40-50 houses all together in one place. Gdje su četnici imali, znači, kvotu bojna, zabojna, znači, bojna se zvala kvota bojna, gdje su postali svoju artiljeriju i onaj gdje su postali jedince, gdje su granatirali intenzivno svaki dan s tjelo Bajramovići. Yeah, and then the Chetniks had a point about Bajramovići called Bojna, that's B-O-J-N-A, where they set up their artillery and where they were shelling Bajramovići heavily every day. I s obzirom da smo mi tijelo potučali, tijelo sučivska već podavno počeli se suprostavljati Chetnicima i Sami suprostavljanjem onaj, mi smo onaj, došli do naoružanja. And given that we from the Otočari, 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 T.O. and also the Sutjeska T.O. have been offering resistance to the Chetniks, and then by the very mean, by offering resistance itself, we would manage to get to some weaponry. Sad smo mi, u odnosu na ostale, bili vojna sila. Compared to the others, we were a real military power. Sad su oni nas zvali u ispomoć, da kad oni počnu granatirati i napadati na njima sela, da mi šaljemo svoje u ispomoć. So the people would come and call us for help. So if somebody's village, for example, was being shelled, they would call for us to come and help. Tako da, onaj, dolazim u ispomoć Bajramovićima kad su i napali iz pravca Zabojni, iz pravca Orahovice. So we went to Bajramovići to help when it was being attacked from the direction of Orahovica and... Kaj je druga sada bila? Bojna. Bojna. Bojna from Bojna, sorry. I mi uspijemo da odbijemo napad, znači odbijemo napad, da odbiva nam poginjeno Akifa, jedan momak, tada je bio misačni zvok. We managed to repel the attack, one of Akif's lads died. Ispod, ispod Bojne, znači, i sila Bojna i sila Orahovica, tu negdje, onaj, pogine. I gdje smo mi stali, znači, tu smo napravili zaprečne vatre i nismo mogli, onaj, ušli smo u klin i onda su nas and this is this is where we stopped because they caught us then in crossfire and we weren't able to go on any further so we had to withdraw. This is when we brought the army to Bayramovich and they saw him as a threat, as well as the Serbian soldiers, but not the line, but the pole. So then we went back to Bayramovich where they had their excuse me, where they had their village guard, where we helped them to strengthen the guard. A uporedo, znači, sad se približavamo jednoj putnoj komunikaciji, jedno preko Bojni ima zeleni jadar gdje je bila drvna industrija, gdje se nalazila drvna industrija. To su putne komunikacije. Delenijada, where there was also a wood factory. To su putne komunikacije koje su vezale vlasnica Milići podravanje Zelenijada. This was the road which connected vlasnica Zelenijada. Zelenijada, Srebrenica, Zelenijada, Skelani. Zelenijada and Skelani. Znači put od važnosti za tenko provodni prac. In other words, a road of some importance. It was a road that tanks could move down. 
a između tih tenkoprovodnih pravaca, između zelenog jadra i puta Bojna Srebrenica, nalazilo se selo Pusnulić, muslimansko selo Pusnulić. Tako se pus, pus, p, pus, mu, li, či. Pus, mu, li, či. Jeste. Između zelenog jadra i Orahovice i Bojne. So between Zeleni Jadar, Orahovice and Bojne, there was a Muslim village called Pusmulići, that's P-U-S-M-U-L-I-C-H-I. Gdje si četni svaki dan granatirali i mitraljirali, tako zbog konzumiracije terena, svaki dan po selu pucali. Which the četnici were shelling and machine gunning every day, because of the configuration of the terrain, they were able to shoot down into the village very easily. Kad smo mi, kad smo mi, onaj, odbile napad od Bajramovića, od Bajramovića prema Orahovicu, onda su i sela Pusmulići zapucali po njima, isto koji oni po njima, pošto su imali lovačkih pušaka. Dakle, kad ste vi odbili napad od Bajramovića prema Orahovicu. And after we had repelled the attack from Orahovica towards Bajramovići. Mještani sela Pusmulići koji su imali lovačko naužanje i neko imao od SDA stranke, znači što ga je naužao. The villagers in Pusmulići, some of them who had hunting weapons, some of them who had some weapons from the SDA. Oni su zapucali po onaj selu, po selu Orahovica. They shot, they also started shooting at the village of Orahovica. Tako da su toku noći mještani svi se iselili u reon podravanje. So that is Orahovica. Yeah, we don't know what happened here. So that all the people then left the village of Orahovica, going down towards Podran. Ili u Srebrenicu, znači imali su dva mogu su od Srebrenicu. Od njih ovih desetih. So they had a kraj njega left or right, they had the two directions they could go. Tako da je se sad stvorila jedna velika slobodna teritorija gdje je bilo čisto krvna sredina muslimana. So in this way we managed to form a very large area of free territory which was entirely Muslim. Evo posle toga dolazi do sastanka u Bajramovićima gdje se dolazi do ideje da se formira neki neko tijelo koje će da rukovodi sa nekim. And then after that we had this meeting in Bajramovići where we came to the idea that we would organize some kind of body and we would create some kind of body that would organize the units in this area. As we've now got to the end of that part of the story, I would suggest that we stop here for today. Do you agree that the time is now 17 hours, 8 minutes? Do you agree that the time is now 17 hours, 8 minutes? Yes. Is this interview suspended until tomorrow morning, when it will be resumed? Dakle, ova ispitivanja se prekida do dan, do sutra i utro, kad ćemo nastaviti, kažem. Nastavimo da, ja. U koliko sat je znao? Možemo da. Tudi je da je sve da je bilo tu sada da je van. Danas je 3. aprila 1991. godine. A ne, ne, 2001. godine. Interviju je znao rezium. Ispitivanje se sad, nastavit ćemo sa ispitivanje. This interview is a continuation of the interview we started on the 2nd of April yesterday. Ovo ispitivanje je nastavak ispitivanja koje smo počeli 2. aprila 2001. godine. Mr. Nasar Orić, do you agree that the time is now 9 hours 24 minutes? Gospodin Nasar Orić, da li se slažite da je sad 9 sati i 24 minuta? Da. Yes. Do you agree that we did not discuss this matter during the suspension? Da li se slažete da nismo razgovarali o predmetu dok nismo prije sada? I would like to remind you that you are still under the caution. Hoću vas upozoriti da se još uvijek podkavati. That you do not have to say anything or answer my questions unless you want to do so. Dakle, ne morate. Ne morate ništa reći, niti odgovarati na moje pitanje ako to ne želite. Anything that you say could be used in the evidence against you. Ali ono što kažete može biti upotrebljeni kao dokazni materijal protiv vas. Do you understand that? Da li to razumijete? Da. 
Um, Mr. Oris, just one or two short questions I'd like to ask you about some of the things we said yesterday. Uh, Mr. Oris, just a short question about what we said yesterday. As I understand, we now are getting to the 20th of May 1992 and that meeting at Bairamovici. Koliko ja razumijem, mi smo sad došli do 20. maja 1992. godine, do tog sastanka u Bajramovićima. Jedna stvar koja meni nije jasno, možda će se to moći pojasniti, on je ponovni ulaz u Srebrenicu. Je li to bilo prije ovog sastanka u Bajramovićima? Ne. No. Wait a minute, after or before? It wasn't. Uh, Let me say that it was before. Was it before or after? Before the entrance into Srebrenica was made before the meeting. The entry into, into Srebrenica took place after this meeting. Um, in respect of the TO units that you said were, were formed, što se tiče te jedinice teritorijalne obrane koje ste rekli da su bili formirani, did they have a relationship with the These substations were they separate? Were they the same? It's just not clear to me. Nije mi jasno ni o odnos sa tim ispostavama policijskih ispostavama po celama, dakle po mjestnim zajednicima. Da li su oni bili isti ili da li su oni bili vedani nekako ili potpuno drugačiji ili kako? Dakle, dakle ove jedinice teritorijalne odbrane. Jeli su bili isti, jeli su oni bili isti kao što su bili te stanice milicije, stanice javne bezbjednosti u tim mjestnim zajednicima. Jedinice teritorijne odbrane nisu postojale, znači stanice, stanične ispostave policije su prerasli u teritorijne odbrane zajedno sa sa mještanima, znači. Znači, nije bilo dvije institucije, bila je policijska... There weren't two institutions. There were not. But there weren't two institutions. Uh, the police substations grew into the units of the territorial defense uh, as they would as the police substations were joined by the local population okay the other issue was the police substation and or as it grew into the tos were they in any way directed by the local district councils te stani sa javno bezvjernosti po mjesnim zajednicima i kako su oni poslili narasle u teritorijne odbrane, da li su mjesne zajednice imali nadzor nad njima? Da li su mjesne zajednice imali nadzor nad njima? Did the local councils have control of the police substations? Yeah, well, substations and in the TOV. I onda poslije teritorijalne odbrane, da. Nisam svati pitanje, kako mislite nadzor mjesna zajednica, da li imala nadzor nad stanicom javne bezbjednosti? Da li su oni izvršili kontrolu nad tim, nad stanice, da li je mjesna zajednica izvršila nekakva kontrola nad te stanice javne bezbjednosti? Znate li šta je mjesna zajednica? Do you know what this local district council is? No, the ones that you mentioned yesterday. Stanovništvo koje živi na tom prostoru, na određenom prostoru. These are the people living in this specific area. Znači, stanovništvo koje živi na tom prostoru i policija koja živjela isto tako i radila na određenim, koja je bila smještena u osnovnoj školi Potočar. So the the people of this this local district and the police substation were working there together. The police substation that was based in the primary school in Potter. Znači to stanično udeljenje policije. This was a police detachment. Sa sjedištem u Potočarima ono je imalo zadatke. With its the one that was had its seat in Potočari, it had certain tasks. Od stanice javne bezbednosti Srebrenica, which it received from the police station in Srebrenica. da zajedno sa mješovitim sastavom, znači i Srba i muslimana, policije, obezbedi, to je da preventivno djeluje na određenom terenu, to je na određenom mjestu i zajednici, kao što su bili podsvarni. Uh, to a certain area, and this was the area of this, this local district. 
Znači isključivo da se bavi policijskim stvarima. In other words, that it would only be involved with police affairs. To je bilo prije nego što će četnici da onaj da da nam nametnu ovo što su kasnije nametnuli. This was before the uh, the četnici were forced upon us what they forced upon us later. Onaj posle dolazi sve stihijski, znači kako kako ide to onaj Srbi se odvajaju, mi ostajemo sami, Srbi napadaju, odvode i tako da. And then what happened, what happened? The, the, the Serbs separated, the Chetans began to attack, uh, and so on. Mr. Nasserovic, if you can just, uh, just explain for us in short, that there was a um, local district or mesna zajednica, executive or administrative body or elected body, or just, as you said, it was just uh, people in the area. Gospodin Nasaović, možete li nam uh, objasniti zapravo šta je ta mesna zajednica bila? Je li to bila neka uh, organ koji imala svoje funkcije ili je li to bilo samo kao što ste vi rekli da je uh, određeni teren sa stanovništvom? Ja sam zajednica, kom ja sam zajednica, ja sad ne mogu vam reći politički zato što nisam ni političar, ni, ali znam iz života i rada, znači da pored na nivo uh, imamo znači ima, imamo nivo opštine okay um, i can't tell you exactly because i'm not uh, I, i don't deal with the i don't know very much about this political thing but i can tell you just basically what i know from before that you have certain levels um, you have for example the level of the municipality pa imamo onaj na nivo opštine koji uh, ljude koji su onaj na, kao na primjer predsjednik opštine And then at the level of uh, the municipality you have certain uh, people who work at that level. So for example you have the president of the municipality. Sa svim svojim pratičnim strukturama, političkim i policijskim, znači to sve političke strukture, civilne strukture. With all his political and, um, and civilian police structures to support him. Znači ovo sad što govorim, govorim to onaj predratni dio. Uh, what I'm saying now of course is about uh, the part before the war. U stvari, ista struktura i, i sad ima onaj, na, na određenim prostorima sad onaj, ima predsjednik, ima svo, svog zamjenika, pa ima svog tamo onaj, svoje, svoje povjerenike. Da tako. Same, uh, same system na applies, the same system applies in certain areas today. The president has his, the president of the municipality has his, yes. uh, his deputy and then other, other people that work with him. Onda imamo, na primjer, sad onaj presnika presnika onaj najbolje ovako presnik države presnik određenog grada je li tako opštine pa presnik mjesne zajednice uh, and then you have well the easiest way to explain this is that you have the, the president of the state you have the president of a certain city uh, or town you would then have the president of the municipality and then the president of the Presnik mjesec zajednice je bio znači presnik svim selima koji su odnosno zasecima koji su bili na toj na 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 mjesnoj zajednici. So the the president of the local district council was the president of all the villages and hamlets that were in that area which the the local district council was responsible. Samo što presnik mjesec zajednice nema organe svoje kao što i nema nema mandat to jest nema nema ovlasti kao što ima opština. Uh, the only thing is that the president of the local district council did not have his institutions or uh, or the powers in the same way that the president of the uh, municipality did. Znači ne možete mi sad ja nisam nikakav političar ja pokušavam ono što znam iz normalnog života i rada. Ovaj, ne znam tačne zadatke tu predsjednika, šta je on imao, šta nije tu. Um, I'm not a politician, so please don't ask me now for the specific um, yeah. things, that they, the specific tasks that they had to do. I just know from normal life um, basically what, what, is, what the structure was. Yeah, I, I think the, the question really centers around, did this person who was ever in charge of these district councils either have the authority to or actually direct Uh, troops into the field uh, military operations that would be really wonderful. Pitan je zapravo se svedi na ovo da li je taj predsjednik mjesne zajednice uh, ima ovlaštenje da nešto radi sa policijom tamo u mjesnoj zajednici odnosno da se bodi uh, vojnici tamo po tom predu. Jeste uopšte ne bi odgovorili predsjedniku mjesne zajednice ili ste bi odgovorili predsjedniku mjesne zajednice? Ne, ne, ne. Mi smo imali, mi smo bili, znači imali smo, kad je u pitanju odgovornost policije, 
prema onaj mjesnom uredu, to jest predsjednik misli i zajednice, nisu imali ništa sa predsjednikom misli i zajednice. Uh, we had no responsibilities whatsoever towards the president of the uh, local district council. Znači izvještaj o našem radu smo striktno podnosili uh, komandiru policije SJB Srebrenica komandir načelnik. Uh, the uh, reports on our work were sent strictly to the chief of the police station in in Srebrenica. Okay. znači onaj Policija, dok nije došlo onaj do, do razlaza, znači svako na svoj strani, to je tako stišnji. I posle toga policija prerasta u jednu, jednu u prerasta u narodne, u narodne mase, tako da kažem. Jednu malo, narodni otpad. Yeah. And after narodni that, otpad. The, uh, the police turned into a, 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 a national resistance. Sad se, sad, se, sad se onaj policiji priključuju i te političke strukture, znači te iz, iz, iz naroda, sad iz mjestnih ureda, znači iz određenih sela, odvažni momci, ljudi koji su željeli da, da koji nisu htjeli da, da onaj se predaju četnicima i tako da se mogu. To stihijski sad dolazi, nema nikakve... And then what happened was that people uh, in the various villages and hamlets then came to join the police, uh, that is those that didn't want to surrender to the Czechniks. The, you referred yesterday to a courier system. Vi ste jučer spomenili sistem kurira. Da. Can you just tell us how that started? Because uh, was there no communications? Uh, where did that originate from and, and did it develop into anything? Did it become structured or uh, did it just stop? System communication. System communication jednostavno znači samo informiranje kad smo kad smo onaj kad smo kad smo kad bi se razišla stanca javne bezbjednosti, znači kad smo prešli u, 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 u kad je kad su narodi znači mještani određenih sela se pripojili policijskoj ispostavi onda smo bili malo većoj grupi znači uh, when the uh, when the uh, the people from the surrounding villages and hamlets then joined the, uh, the police substation uh, we were then a larger group znači kad su četnice odvojili na svoju stranu that is when the, the Chetniks separated themselves off to the side. Then we also had to go to our own side. Da bi imali mi, znači, dovoljan broj informacija o neprijatelju. So that we would have sufficient information about the enemy. Znači, oni su odmah onaj, mi smo prepisivali od njih, vidjeli smo kako oni imaju svoje osmatrače, vidjeli smo kako imaju svoje sistem veza, mi to nismo imali. Uh, we, we took this then from them. We saw what, how they had their system of observers, how they had their communication systems, and znači, we didn't have any of this. Sistem obaveštavanja je bio strikno kurijska veza, znači zadužimo čovjeka, ako treba da prenesemo iz, na primjer, donje potočara neku, neku poruku uh, seoskoj straži u gornjim potočarima, so um, our system of um, giving information was then strictly by means of, of courier. So for example, if we had uh, the, uh, the centre then in, Don, in, in Otochari, yeah, uh, some information yeah. coming from Gornje Potochari, coming from Or if I needed to know what was happening in Gornje Potochari. Onda pošaljem čovjeka određenog koji nije, nije striktno određen čovjek koji bude kurir, nego pošaljem nekog koji mi nadleži da ode i da, 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 da to završi. Je li to promijenilo poslije, jeste poslije dosli, ne, dobi, dobili neka uh, druga vrsta, je li taj sistem se... Je li taj sistem ovaj se poslije uh, promijenilo ili je li, jeste li dobili nekakav uh, drugi sistem uh, komunikacije? Uglavnom, znači, uglavnom smo imali onaj, uh, najsigurnija bila kurijska veza, znači naj, 
najsigurnija, kad kaže najsigurnija, to znači najbolja da nas neprijatelj ne čuje. Da ne otkrije naše onaj ono što pričamo namjeri, da ne otkrije naše namjeri. The safest way for us was to use couriers. By safest I mean the safest in the sense that the enemy wouldn't hear what we were talking about and wouldn't learn about our intentions. Mada smo u kasnijim onaj, znači kasnijim periodu imali jedan određen dio onih rupovki, to je bilo i štaba ali nismo to koristili. To su RUP 12, jeste. Radio stanice RUP 12. Later on, we did have a radio station, so called RUP RUP 12, but we never used it. Razum zašto nismo koristili, jeste što su to onaj četnici mogli prisluškivati u svaka druga dana i noći. We didn't use it because the četnici could listen in on it at any time of the day or night. I još jedan razlog, znači zbog izvora napajanja, znači morali smo imati onaj baterije, punjače, tako da mi to onaj nismo imali, znači ako zarobimo očetnika ne možemo zarobiti baterije ono nego ono što bude na... And the other problem was that we didn't have the means to actually power it, we didn't have the large batteries and things that we needed, and even if we did capture one for the četniks it was far too big for us to take with us. Mada smo, znači, kroz kasniji ovaj... Rat, mi smo došli do tih baterija, ali to, to znači nismo odmah mogli doći, ako jedan dan zarobimo jednu, onda sljedeći, ovaj, sljedeća akcija, drugu i tako da. Um, we did later in the war, we did, uh, we did capture some, but we didn't get a significant number all at the same time. We might get one in one action and then in, in another action a bit later we might get another. Znači, hoću da vam kažem, jedina logistika koju smo imali jesu bili četnici. I want to tell you that the only logistics that we had were the Chetniks. I način da preživimo jeste bilo da od njih preživimo. Na sve vidove života. The only way for us to survive was that soon we survive from them in terms of all aspects of life. Just one last thing about communications and then we can get back to your book. Samo jedna stvar. Još jedna stvar o komunikacijama i onda možemo se vrati u vašu knjizi. You referred yesterday to the telephone call Mustafić made from Sarajevo to the school. Vi ste jučer spomenili ovaj telefonski poziv koji je gospodin Mustafić u školu. Was that line, did you manage to maintain that as an open line throughout the wall? Jeste li uspjeli ovaj održavati tu liniju komunikacije? Ne, to je to. To vam je bilo, znači, dok se nismo podijelili. This was only until we divided. Posle toga, mi ulazimo u jednu totalnu blokadu gdje više nema, onaj, odsjećeni smo od kompletnog svijeta, znači. After that, we went in, we were entered into a total blockade. We were completely cut off from the rest of the world. Znači, u totalno druženje gdje nam četnici ne daju ni vode, ni struje, ni hrani, ni odjeće, ni obuće. We were totally surrounded by the Chetniks and weren't able to get water or electricity or food or clothing. Okay, you said before that you wanted to say something about the book. You have, just before we started today, presented us all a copy of your book and we thank you for that. And you said that you wanted to say something about it. Rekli ste da biste htjeli nešto reći o svojoj knjizi. Ja. Vi ste prije nego smo počeli danas, vi ste nam svima dali kopiju vaše knjige. Mi smo jako zahvalni za to. Hvala vam lijepa. Što ste htjeli reći? Htio sam reći kad je u pitanju knjiga koju sam napisao. Kažem onaj, međutim onaj, hoću vam reći način nastanka ove knjige moje ime. I just want to talk about a little bit about this this book that I wrote, and in particular, I want to tell you about how this book came to be. Sami, znači, samo demilitarizaciju Srebrenice, with the the very demilitarization of Srebrenica. Kako je vrijeme odmicalo, ovaj više nismo imali, nismo se bavili ni vojnim pitanjima, znači ulaskom u jedinih snaga u Srebrenicu, ovaj. Prestoje i život i rad, ovaj, vojni život i rad kompletni, ovaj, svi jedinica koji su bili tamo. When the, uh, when the UN came into Srebrenica, we then stopped our military activities, and our whole of our military life then stopped. 
Znači, život i rad je krenuo jednim drugim tokom. In other words, life and, and work went, uh, in a different, went along in a different way. I onda onaj, ima, imali smo dosta vremena, znači slobodnog vremena. So we had quite a lot of time, that is free time. Pa tako na određenim sjelima, sjedeljkama, razgovarao, razgovarao sam sa svojim prijateljima, sa, sa ljudima koji su ovaj, bili faktorski obrazovani. Uh, and so I spent quite a lot of time talking to my friends, people who had university education. I su mi oni sugerisali da bi trebali napisati nešto ovaj, da se ne zaboravi. And then they suggested to me that, uh, that something should be written so that uh, what happened wouldn't be forgotten. Znači od početka rata do, do demilitarizacije ono što se dešavalo je... And that is from uh, the beginning of the war up until what happened up until the demilitarization. Tada smo bili svi mišljenja da nam niko neće vjerovati ovaj, kad budemo pričali, a i zaboravit ćemo. Uh, we the that would us if we told what had happened and that we would also forget. Uh, tako da onaj, donijeli smo odluku da trebamo da napišemo neki, neki onaj materijal, neku knjigu. Tako. So we, uh, we, we made the decision that we needed to write a book uh, and, and uh, some kind of materials, materials. S obzirom da, da je Nasir Urić bio komandant sinonim otpora. And given that uh, Nasir Urić was the commander of the resistance forces. Oni su me rekli Nasir je napravit ćemo da je onaj knjigu da je ti napišeš i tako da je. Uh, we'll say Nasir we'll do it like this, we'll, we'll do the book like as if yeah. you had written it. To jeste kao da sam ja napisao. As if, as if I had written it. I onda smo onaj počeli, zadužili smo znači ovaj ljude na terenu da prikupljaju podatke. So we gave people in the field uh, the task of collecting the, uh, the information. Znači, uh, svi ti podaci uh, onaj, koji će biti sa terena, kako, kako je uh, ko živio i radio na određenim terenima i prostorima. So in other words, uh, the information of who was living and working in what way in the various parts of the field. Jer smo bili tako mišljenja da onaj naj, da naj, približno najzdraviji naj zdraviji materijal će da bude baš od tih ljudi koji su živili radili, koji su bili u živi živanju. Because uh, we thought that um, uh, the healthiest material would come from those people who had um, actually been in the center of all the events, who were living and working in those places at the time. I onda smo počeli sa tim, onaj, sa, sa tim prikupljanjem, sa uh, tim materijalima, šta je koji imao, oni su ovaj, donosili na, na odrežište, zadužili smo jednu Mašić Nijaza, ko autora, Mašić Nijaz. Mašić Nijaz. Mašić Nijaz, on je bio inače profesor istorije u srednjoj školu prije okay, rata. Uh, Mas, uh, Mijaz Masić, that's M-I-J-A-Z, Masić, M-A-S-H-I-C, he was a uh, church, he was a, uh, a history teacher in the secondary school before the war, he was responsible for overseeing, collecting all the information from the field. On je, drugi koautor je bio Alkanović Hussein. Another co-author was... That's right, Masić, yes. Okay, Hussein. Mašić, uh, Aljkanović Hussein. Aljkanović Hussein. On je isto bio moj profesor u srednjoj školi. Uh, Aljkanović. Uh-huh. Aljkanović, Hussein Aljkanović. Uh, uh, another co-author was Hussein Aljkanović. That's H-U-S-E-J-N. Aljkanović, A-J-E-K-A-N-O-V-I-C. Uh, he was my teacher in primary school. Isto kao i Mašić, isto mi predao isto. Uh, he, he also taught me just like uh, Mašić did as well. Uh, isto smo ovaj, jednog čovjeka koji je bio ugledan sa, uh, sa opštine vlasnica, Muhanović Ibro. Ibro Muhanović. Ibro Muhanović. Uh, another was a man um, who had very high standing in the uh, municipality of Vlasenica by the name of Ibro Muhanović, that's I-B-R. Koji je bio direktor uh, H. N, sorry, N-H-N-U-H-A-N-A-V-I-C. Koji je bio direktor ovaj, jednog predzeća, Šipac, za ne znam da je bilo Šipak. Šipak, Šipak. Uh, he was Šipak, Šipak. Uh, he was the uh, director of a, 
uh, company there by the name of Shipag. That's uh, Shirt I P A G. Znači, u stvari napravili smo da svi svi ti ljudi koji su bili oni su sa različitih opština. Uh, these people were from various different municipalities. I oni su znali tačno onaj ko bi mogao to najbolje da opismeni ta zbivanja na da da podatke na tim terenu. Bolje da they knew uh, who would be the best people to describe or to uh, to give the information about what had actually happened in the field. I prilike tu jedno 15ak 20 dana to je ta knjiga ona je u rukopisu napisana. And so the, the book was written in manuscript Tako da onaj posle pisanja te knjige onaj u rukopisu poslali smo preko jednog posmatrača koji je bio onaj u Srebrenici da da se pošalje u Švedsku da 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 se knjiga štampa. And then we gave the manuscript to an observer who was in Srebrenica to send it to Sweden where it would be printed. Istina, onaj dio što sam ja trebao da pišem, ja sam pričao isto ovako ko što vama pričam, a oni su pisali. To tell the truth, the part which I was supposed to write, I talked in the same way that I'm talking now, and then they wrote it down. Znači, za ove ostale teritorije Sučesku je pričao Zulko, za Srebrenicu je onaj pričao pričao se određeni komandant koji je zbilj, pošto kasnije ima dosta u toku rata gine mi određeni ovi ljudi. So, for example, as far as Sučetska is concerned, that was that was for Zulko, and then the other areas, the other municipalities and areas where the fighting had been taking place, this was down to the local commanders as well, and many of those died during the war. Znači, oni lokalni komandant opet isti sistem koji na početku što su što su bili, znači po pjesim uredu. So these, uh, so these local commanders then did this in the same way according to the system that we had at the beginning. Yes, so these right. local districts. Pravo stanje na terenu. Because they knew the real situation on the ground. Tako da smo to brzo uradili, za jedno 15-ak dana knjiga je otišla za Švedsku i Švedske za Ljubljanu i tu je ostan pan. Uh, so uh, with the manuscript was finished within 15 days, the whole thing went up to Sweden and then from Sweden to Ljubljana and then uh, no, it was printed. Ali iskreno kažem, ovaj, nisam je uspio nikad i pročitati. To tell you the truth, I haven't even managed to read it. A razlog što sam izbjegao jeste... And the reason I've avoided doing it is... Kad počem čitati ovaj, tu knjigu, odmah se podsjetim na Srebrenicu, na pogibiju, na smrt, na ostalo, da psički nisam mogu da izdržim, da ću taj knjigu. When I start to read it, I immediately think about Srebrenica, about death, and about the fighting, and then psychologically I just can't do it anymore. I onda si nuđe muzeo da malo na lista. I took it last night just to leaf through it. I pročitao sam samo dvije stranice, znači jedan list. I read two pages of the book. I zatvorio sam. And then I closed it. Ali isto tako sam vidio da u jučerašnjem izlaganju mogu... But in the same way I saw that in what I said yesterday... Da vam nisam sve onaj ispričao. That I hadn't told you yet everything. Jednostavno sam pozaboravio, mislim. Primjer radi... I simply forgotten things. I mean to give you an example. U vrijeme, u vrijeme kad smo uzimali liniju, kad smo uzimali liniju ovaj... Na pote su gniju na onaj lipa. So, for example, the one time when we took this line from Gnione to Lipa, u isti taj dan četnici su zapali ovaj selo Bječevo. Upali u selo Bječevo i zapali na Bječevo, na drugoj strani. B, L, E, C, Bječeva. At the same day as we carried out this attack, the četnics burned down the village of Bječeva. Right over on the other side. There's talk about the building at that time. There were very heavy fighting in that area. Znači ovaj ne možete mi zamjeriti da kuna što zaboravi mi ono i ja isto tako ne ovaj ne znam da li su svi podaci tačni 
Pa da, da, da se vidite za, za ovo da kaže to je tako. Uh, so in the same odmah. way, please, uh, please, 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 uh, please don't hold it against me if I forget things. And at the same time, please don't tie me down to everything that's in the book. Ako mene onaj su lagali ovi što su pisali, onda, a vjerovatno su malo i uveličali zbog, svi su ono gledali uveličaj svoj život i rad zbog kasnije onaj, So if, they, if, if, if they lied about me in the book or if they exaggerated the things that were happening, because you know how it goes, most people always exaggerate things a little bit to, uh, uh, to make their own role seem larger than it really is. Um, But so mal, mal uh, they, they exaggerated my role the most of all. Can, I, can we just explain to him, uh, we're not here simply to try and catch him out uh, on, on incidents and dates. That's not the purpose of the uh, book. Uh, so it's not it's not not the purpose of the book. Uh, so it's not the purpose of the book. We're interested what you remember. Uh, and that's why we're giving you the floor to tell us what you remember. And that's why we're giving you the floor to tell us And that's why we're giving you the floor to tell us what you remember. And that's why we're giving you the floor to tell us what you When we get to the end of the process, There are obviously areas that we are particularly interested in. Naravno, ima neke područje za koje smo mi pogotovo zainteresirali. And whether you've mentioned them or not is not really what's important. We will then ask you what we want to know to see if you do remember. I onda da li ste ih već prije toga spomenuli ili ne, zapravo i nije tako važno. Mi ćemo onda vas pitati. We know that you can't keep it all in your head unless they're documents or a book or something else. You can always refer to any document, any book, anything else that you may need uh, if you have it to, to assist you. da naravno to ne možete sve zadržati u glavi svoj. Možete naravno uvijek se obratiti ili vašoj knjizi ili bilo kojem drugom dokumentaciji da se posjetite neke stvari. I think at this stage we can get back to what we had got to yesterday mislim da možemo sada se vratiti na ono što smo rekli jučer dakle dok le smo došli we had reached the stage where i think we were meet, getting to the meeting at Bayramovici on the 20th of May mislim da smo došli do sastanka u Bayramovici na 20. maja ja, onaj, znači taj, taj dan uh, je ono, uh, kad, smo, kad smo stvorili uh, uh, jedan, jedan malo veći dio uh, teritorije, da tako kaže, slobodne teritorije. So, so that day when we had uh, created a rather larger area of, uh, let's call it free territory. Koja je bila uh, uh, slobodna teritorija po znake navoda. Znake na ovdje, znači slobodna teritorija koja je bila u totalnom okruženju. Yeah, this was a free territory, almost in inverted commas, because it was completely surrounded. Znači, unutar samog okruženja mi smo stvarali slobodnu teritoriju. So, in other words, in, in, in the middle of this uh, complete encirclement, we had created this free territory. Znači, uh, morali smo onaj... Uh, da, da, da onaj, uh, znamo tačno unutar uh, te uh, unutar tog okruženja gdje smo mi gdje su Srbi. And we had to know exactly within this complete encirclement where we were and where the Serbs were. Tako da onaj kad smo to uradili onda onda smo onaj vidjeli da smo opet u okruženju, znači kad je to bilo čisto između nas, onda smo vidjeli da oko nas ima neko. Uh, and then we saw that we were really were completely surrounded when we saw that it was all clear amongst ourselves that uh, they were all the way around us. Međutim, so we were surrounded by uh, the municipalities of uh, Bratunac or Blasanica and then uh, then this other one uh, Žepa which was still occupied at the time. Sa druge strane pa onda od Žepe pa do do Bratunca znači duž drine kompletna te, ovaj teritorija znači uh, granični smo se sa Srbijom. 
and then from Jeppe all the way around to Bratis, all the way along the line, we we, yeah. we were on the border with Serbia itself. Pa onda onaj odma znali smo da je Srbija znači sve vojne snage koje koje je Srbija tada imala ona on, oni Srbi u Republici Srpskoj to je šetnici oni su onaj raspolagali s tim snagama. Uh, Nešto mi tamo knew, we knew that uh, the Chetniks in the Republic of Srpska uh, that they had available to them all the uh, the military uh, the military equipment that was in the uh, in, in Serbia itself. Znači ne smije tamo su ulazili, ovaj tenko provodni putevi su bili, znači pravci iz, pra, iz Srbije su mogli doći, dešavalo se da dođe onaj da da na primjer na uh, so they were able to come in the roads were were um, open to tanks as well, tanks were able to pass along most of these roads uh, and they were able to bring in them whatever they wanted to. Na uh, putu prema iz Banje Bašti prema Tari gdje je bio o, na, na planini Tara onaj aerodrom. Okay. To je um, sve so, so, so it's all in Serbia uh, from uh, Banja Vasha uh, to the mountain of Tara, T A R A, uh, where the Serbs had a military airfield. Gdje je bio aerodrom, vojni aerodrom Ponikve, znači aerodrom u Slovenskoj narodnoj armiji. Ponikve. Ponikve, jes. Kod Tara. Da. Yeah. Uh, so on this mountain in Tara they had the, uh, the military air, uh, airfield called Ponikve, which is P-O-N-I-K-V-E. Odakle su nas onaj četnici svaki dan bombardirali, znači, sa ljudima. From which the, uh, the četnici were bombing us every day uh, with airplanes. Putem prema, prema, uh, uz, prema ovaj, kad se penjemo na tu planinu, bilo ste, uh, postrajeni su svi tenkovi bili koji su koji su gledali u našu teritoriju, to jest u naša sela. Uh, to, to go up the mountain, uh, the tanks were positioned all the way up the mountain which uh, covered our territory and our villages. Odakle su oni izvodili vojne vježbe, ovaj, podučavali mladu vojsku da gažaju određene ciljeve. A uh, ciljeve su bili... They carried out uh, military exercises uh, so the, uh, the young soldiers could practice by uh, attacking military targets by shooting at the houses. Ciljevi su bili, znači, naše kuće u kojima su živjele žene i djeca, znači, u kojima je živjelo muslimansko stanovništvo. In other words, the houses, the targets were the houses in which women and children were living, in other words, the houses of the Muslim population of the area. Pa onda imamo u Bratuncu ovaj Drinski korpus, znači, sa Bratunačke strane je kompletan Drinski korpus koji je svakodnevno nas onaj napadao raz, raz, i, i granatirao. Uh, in Bratunac, uh, the, the Drinski korpus was in Bratunac, the whole, uh, the, uh, the core was uh, in, in the Drina core, that is, was in Bratunac, uh, and then they would attack us every day. Pa dobro znamo koliko korpus broji vojnika. And we know how many soldiers there are, we, we know very well how many soldiers there are. A pogotovo pratiče opremi oruđe i, i ovaj mts -a. Uh, especially, especially all the uh, the weapons and material that go along with it. Isto tako imali smo Sarajevsko romanijski korpus, znači Bičanski gore Birač. At the same time we had uh, the Sarajevo Romanija core uh, on, on Birač. 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 Znači sa područja Vlasenice od Han Pijeska pa Vlasenica. From the area of uh, Vlasenica and Han Pijesak. Milić. And Bilić. I plus ove paravojne jedinice koje su bile, znači naše komšije. Uh, plus the, uh, the paramilitary uh, unit formations, that is our neighbors. I ostali dobrovoljci koji su dolazili širom Srbije da, da onaj, koji su bili plaćenici, znači. And, uh, I and iz Rusije je bilo. The other, the other, um, <laughs> and then the other volunteers that came from all over Serbia. Um, who were paid, who were mercenaries in other words, and from Russia as well. Yeah. Tako da onaj, znali smo s kim imamo posla. So we knew um, who we had to deal with. A nismo imali izbora. But, but we had no choice. Morali smo da živimo. We had to live. I onda dođe do tog sastanka i onda ovaj, sve imajući tu u vidu, kažemo da mi ovako, uh, Pošto jesne, moramo sad da napravimo jednu 
jednu organizaciju tad kad smo pričali mislili smo da smo napravili jednu organizaciju and then when so when we had this meeting and then we saw what the situation was all over we decided that we had, we had to we, we had to form uh, an organization in other words that, that we had to be organized pa smo sjeli u Bajanovićima i onda smo onaj rekli ko je sjeo ja so reči reči so so we all sat down in, yeah. in Bajanovići and uh, znači svi komandanti mjesnih zajednica to jest teritorijalnih odbrana that is uh, all the commanders of the, uh, the local district councils that is the, what it, what are now like become the uh, total defense znači isto više mjesnih zajednica sad su te u teritorijalnoj odbrani so these were no longer now the, the local district councils these were now the TO pa imamo te u sučeska te u ovaj potučari te u uh osat teo i tako dalje so to je samo primjer uh, uh, so uh, 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 so uh, kazani uh, we had uh, uh, i tako znači sva ta sela koja je zna da nabrajam to je sve bilo onaj tako teo sve po po, po zaseocima malte ne je bilo yeah, ovaj yeah. gore u tim bilo so in other words all the villages so that i don't list them all now all these villages basically yeah. had uh, total defense units and even some of the hamlets themselves did yeah. i onaj kad smo sjeli onda su onaj šta ćemo koga ćemo za komandanta And then we all, when we all sat down and we all said, well, what are we going to do now? Who are we going to have as our commander? Jedan od, od njih je predložio onaj, ustoj rekao je Bećir Bogilović, I, zajedno sa Zuhom Tursunom. Bećir? Tursunović, ne. Ja. Tursunović. Bećir Bogilović. Bećir Bogilović. Bogilović. Jeste. Bećir. Mm-hmm. Bećir Bogilović. Bogilović. On, on je ustao. Bogilović. Uh, to je stari jedan uh, policajac koji je bio onaj u teu sučeska. Uh, on je bio predložen onda. Ne, on je sjedio, on je predložio meni onaj da bude im ja kao komandant. Okay. Uh, then uh, a man by the name of Bečir Bogilović, that is B E C H I R and then Bogilović B O G I L J O V I C H uh, who had been a policeman before, an older man. Uh, he stood up and uh, suggested that I be made commander. Ili je Zulfo Tursunović, znači i odnje dvojice jedan, ne znam da sjetim, ali znam da je odnje dvojice jedan u stovu vrlo. Perhaps it was Zulfo Tursunović, I can't remember now exactly, but I know that it was one of those two. Ostali su odmah jednoglasno, bez obrazloženja, rekli, nasad će biti. Uh, and then all of the rest of them unanimously said, without any kind of thinking or anything, yeah, NASA will be here. Tu, tu je bio Jaki Fustić. Jako Pustić. Aki, Aki. Pustić. Inače, moj učitelj iz osnovne škole. Aki Pustić uh, was there as well. That's uh, A-K-I-F-P-U-S-T-I-C. He was my teacher from primary school. One of my teachers from primary school. Yeah. Ja sam rekao, ljudi, nemojte da, da, ja, i, da, da ja budem komadant. And I said to them, uh, people, don't let me be the commander. Ja sam tu najmlađi od vas. I'm the youngest of all of you. Pored tih ljudi što sam nabrao, bilo su još, bilo je dosta ljudi, ne mogu da se sjetim. Bio je Hasan, uh, bio je Hamdija Fezić iz Sela Bajdanović. Hamdija Fe- Fezić. F, F. Fezić. F, F. F, Fezić. 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 Pa onda je bio... There was several other people there as well, including Hamdija Fezić, that's H-A-M-D-I-J-A, F-E-J-Z-I-C. Pa onda je bio Ševket Đuozić. Šev... Ševko. Ševket. Ševket. Ševket Đuozić. Ševket Đuozić was also there, that's Ševket. Đuozić, D-J-O-Z-I-C. Ahmo Tihić. Ahmut. Ahmo. 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 Tihić. Tihić. Uh, Ahmo Tihić. That's A-H-M-O-T-I-H-I-C. Jako zavajala se imena ne mogu. Znam, znam lika, ne mogu ime da se sjetim. 
Kasnije bio Kasnije bio povjerenik u Srednice, i to završio fakultet. Ja Bilo je još dosta ljudi, ne mogu da se sjetim. Da, to možete na kasnije, da, nije, I oni su onaj obrazložili, neko je uslov i rekao, Nasir je ti si onaj pružio prvi otpot. They said, well, NASA, you were the first one to offer resistance. Četnicima i zaslužuješ da budeš prvi među nama. The first one for resistance to the Četnics and you deserve to be the first amongst us. Nije ti neka nagrada, ali šta je tu je? It's not really any kind of reward for you, but what's here is here. Neki su rekli, to te neće sakrati od očetnika, moraš opet ići ratovat. Some people said you won't be able to hide yourself now from the Chetniks, you don't have to go and fight again. I tako, taj smo dan, ovaj uglavnom sjedili, to je bio kao slobodan dan. That's the day then that we start talking about this, this was like a day of... Sporski dan? Sporski dan. Yeah, it was like a sports day. Evo, posle toga, onaj... Kako to je organizacija? Čemu si komadant? Šta? Čemu si komadant? Kako je? Sad, onaj, posle toga ja sam, različno se mi u svojim kućama i tako, onaj, svako je odšao na svojim terkodim ponovo. So, we all separated again, then we went back to their houses, then we went back to their own territory. Kad sam ja došao u kući, vidio sam ja da sam ja opet povran te ovo potičao. And then when I got home, I saw that I was now the commander of the, the, uh, the TO, the Potičani TO again. Jer formira jednog štaba, onaj, zatjeva, znači, jednu, 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 onaj, jednu zajedničku komandu koja će da bude na jednom određenom mjestu. Koja će da prati, znači, određeni rad, rad određenih jedinica na ostalim terenima. Which would follow the work of the various units in various parts of the field koja će da dobija izvešta i daje naredbe na određene terene. Which would receive reports and give orders to certain parts of the field. Međutim, onaj, u to vrijeme, realno rečeno, nije moglo se ni organizovati tako, znači... But at that time, to be realistic, it wasn't even possible to organize any such thing. Način života i rada, ovaj gdje smo živjeli i kako smo živjeli, to je spreživljavali. The kind of lives that we led and the way that we lived was really just brought down to survival. Survival. U istinu nije omogućavao nešto bolje da se uradi. This really didn't allow us to do anything any better. Znači, mi smo, ja sam bio jedan komandant koji nije imao onaj, nije mogao da komanduje, znači, vojskom koja je bila na kompletnom terenu. So I was, I was in fact a commander who wasn't able to command all the troops in the field. Znači morao sam, morao sam onaj, opet da sarađujem sa ovim komandantima teritorijalne odbrane. So again, I had to cooperate or work together with the commanders of the various TO units in the field. Jer mi nismo imali nikakvu razrađenu strategiju pa da onaj, da radimo na osnovu nekih planova ili nešto. Because we didn't have any strategy worked out that we would work on the basis of any plan or anything like that. Nego smo se sastajali od slučaja do slučaja, znači od problema, zavisno od problema na terenu, kompletno. So we would work according from case to case, according to the problems on the ground at the time. Pa ako ne može taj komadant sa terena, TO, određenog terena, da ga riješi, na primjer, Zufo, Tursunović ili... So, for example, if... If a local TO commander on the ground wasn't able to solve a particular problem, so, so to give you an example, Zulfo Tutsarovic in the Sulcheska TO, then we would have a meeting and then we would agree to send him help. 
koliko je ko mogao iz određenih teritorijalnih odbrana da pošalje i djemu ispomoć ako je napad na na ovaj ako se trpi najveći napad na liniju odgovornosti iz Ufe to Sunovića, to jest na teritorijalnu odbranu Sučarska. So other people would then go to help him if he was if the heaviest attacks were there in his area, that is in so-called Tosunovic's area of the Sučarska team. Znači hierarchijska ljestica linija komandovanja linija komandovanja se uopšte nije promijenila da sad ja kao komandant imam uvid u te u sučesku šta se radi, šta se dešava, kako se vrši organizacija. So the, 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 the lines of command uh, as, as such were not really there that I would be able to command exactly what was happening uh, down in Sučeska. Znači, znači onaj, sad, znači brojno stanje vojnika, neuružanja, to ja kao komandant nikad nisam uh, imao, niti sam uh, mogao postrojiti vojsku dok nije, nič sam postrojio nikad. So, things like, for example, the number of soldiers or the number of kind of weapons that they had, I simply didn't have this information, so I wasn't actually able to deploy the troops. Do same, znači, demokratizacije, uvijek su formacije bile o bataljonskog, kažem, bataljonskog, seoskog sastava, znači, po selima. Right up until the demilitarization, everything was done on the on a village level of battalion, or I say battalion, I mean really on the, on the basis of village guards. Kada razgovaram sa primjera radi nekom, nekim od komadanata teritorijalne odbrani. So to give you an example, with one of the commanders of the total defense. Pitam ga koliko ima vojnika na liniji, pošto smo ovaj već formirali linije od četnika. I would ask him how many soldiers have you got on the on the front line because by then we had already formed our front lines against the Chetniks. Pa određeni komandant mi kaže imam iz jednog sela toliko i iz drugog toliko i iz trećeg toliko i tako da je dobrovoljac. A certain commander would tell me well I've got so many from this village, so many from that village and so many from the other village and they were all volunteers. Istina iz nekog sela je bilo više dobrovoljaca nego što ima na uružanja pa su pa su onaj određeno oružje koje je bilo na liniji ostavljalo se pa samo vršila zamjena ljudstva. Some villages had more volunteers than they had weapons, so what they would do would be they would leave the weapons at the front line for the next shift to come to use. Znači kad odemo ovaj, kad smo izvodili određene akcije na oduzmanju četničkih linija, znači kad nam dođe ono da moramo da napadnemo liniju usled jakih napada, granatiranja. So if, for example, it ever came to the point that we would have to attack the Czechnik lines because we would have been suffering very heavy shelling or heavy attacks and we needed to attack. Ili da se logistički obskrbimo kako sa MTS-om, tako i sa hranom, znači. Or if we did this in order to resupply ourselves, either with military supplies and material or else with food. Znači zbog sami civila, da bi civila ili preživjeli. In other words, just for the civilians, so the civilians would survive. I kad dođe maltene do kanibalizma, onda moramo da udarimo da bi ovaj obzbjeli ljudima da jedu. So, when it got practically to the point of cannibalism, then we would have to attack, just so that we would have the food to give to people. U svim tim akcijama nikad nisam uspio ja da ovaj saberim brojno stanje zarobljeno naružanja ili onaj municije ili hrane da znamo koliko je ušlo to nikad niko nije moglo niti niti In all of these actions I was never able to to see how much weapons had been captured, what food had been captured what food had been captured or munitions, this was just all on the on the local Pa na primjer je bilo problema, određeni problema kad treba na određenu ovaj zonu odgovornost na drugu na primjer teritorijalnu odbranu to jest onaj drugu mjestnu zajednicu, nestalo i mudnici usled jake i neprijateljski napada, pošto je defanziva, potroši mudnicu ljudi. Sometimes we would have problems where one local district had suffered very heavy attacks, 
uh, and they'd used up all of their ammunition because when you're defending you use up an awful lot of ammunition. Onda mi komandant Teo pošalje kurira i kaže na sere ja nemam nestalo mi municije gdje vidi da mi pozdraje mi da mi daju ovi iz drugih koliko ko može. Then the local commander would send me a courier and say, Nasser, I'm running out of ammunition. Uh, can you lend me some, or can you get some from uh, the other, the, the other local units around us? Onda ja šaljem kurire po svim tim onaj TO, TOima. And then I would send uh, a courier to all these local, uh, these, these local territorial defences. Oni sakupe ove komandante iz iz uh, ovih sela, iz svakog sela. These, these commanders then from the villages, from each village, would collect. Obviously, the problem is the problem that if we don't collect a certain number of ammunition, we can't go to the next village. And then, after I explained to them that uh, we had to collect the ammunition, because if we didn't collect the ammunition, the Chetniks would break through, and then they would be here in this local area as well. And then, they would collect a certain number of ammunition, Donesu meni, ja pošaljem tamo i to je tako. E, kad je u pitanju, na primjer, kad su u pitanju izvođenje, znači, tih akcija na četničke vatre i linije, ili kad je u pitanju ofanziva četnika, pa pripremanje kontranapada znači da ih odbijemo onda sjednemo isto tako ko smo sjeli u Bajramovićima i onda se dogovaramo prvo da vidimo koliko ko ima vojnika koliko ko može dati vojnika sa određenih onaj And then we would see first of all who would who could give uh, how many soldiers from each uh, given area. And then only after that would we then decide uh, who would go where to um, oppose the Chetniks. And then when we finish that we would decide we would see who had uh, how much ammunition da bi onda pokušali da ravnopravno podijelimo znači između svih tih između se tih koji idu onaj da se suprostaju četnicima so that we could then share the ammunition out equally amongst all the units that were going to oppose the Chetniks da to bude ravnopravno so that it would be equal međutim opet onaj lokalistički onaj duh but again this this local spirit is local Svako voli da malo sebe sačuva više da imam neto. And everybody wanted to keep a little bit more for themselves. Ali uglavnom tu smo bili malo više jedinstveni nego onaj jer se radilo o našim životima znači. But nevertheless in this area we were more united because it was a question of our lives. Znači u odnosu nego kad zauzmemo određenu materijalnu liniju onda nastane otimačne prikrivanje, svako prikriva unijući sebi kod. So, whenever we would take take, take the opposing lines, immediately people would start taking the ammunition and hiding it on themselves and putting it away. Svi ti od komandanata se bojali ostaći oni bez unijici i njegova vojska, pa će onaj probiti četnici u njihova sela i pobitnici. Because the commanders were worried that they would run out of ammunition when they were fighting the četniks, and the četniks would then to je bilo i opravljeno. Jer čovjek, na primjer, određeni čovjek iz određene mjeste iz zajednice krene i napadne na rov i uskoči u rov i ubije četnika i ostane mitraljez. So, for example, if a certain soldier from a certain area would jump into the Chetnik trenches and kill a Chetnik and capture a machine gun. I red je da taj mitraljez ide u selo odakle taj čovjek koji je poginuo na tom mitraljezu. And then it's only fair that that machine gun goes to that village where the man might have died getting it for the village. Da bi taj mitraljez uvo selo. So that the machine gun would then protect the village. 
Rešavalo se nekada da određeni komandanti ne pošalju određeno oružje u to selo, pa onda posle bojkotuju sljedeću akciju, neće zeljavac, oni i drugi da idu zato što se nije ravnopravno podijelo oružje. Sometimes it would happen that local commanders of units wouldn't want to go into action because the ammunition had not been shared out equally. Tako da su te stvari, moralo se gledati na to baš ono čitavo vrijeme dok smo bili u tom okruženju. So you have to you have to look at these things. So that's basically how it was the whole time that we were uh, encircled. Jer ona je čisto vojnički da smo se ponašali, nismo imali ni uslova, a ni izbora, znači for us to behave in a purely military fashion, we didn't have either the means or the choice to be able to do that. And that's it. Some of our members. Do you believe that the time is now 10 hours 25 minutes? Yes. This interview is suspended for the purpose of having a short break. Yes, we will have a short break. Yes, we will have a short break. Okay. Thank you. The interview is now resumed. The interview is now resumed. Do you agree that the time is now 10 hours? Do you agree that we did not discuss this matter during the suspension? Yes. Okay. Mr. Chair, you were talking about how you managed to arm yourselves, getting your logistics, um, how the logistics that were gained from the Serbs were distributed. And you also explained that uh, we didn't really have the ability uh, to act in a, in a proper military way. Gospodin Oreš, vi ste nam objasnili kako ste došli do vaše ove naoružanje i logistike i isto tako ste nam objasnili da niste imali baš te naoružanje i logistike i organizacije da biste se ponašli na vojnički način. Isto tako zaboravio sam malo prije kad sam vam objašnjavao, evo sad sam prisjetim se, znači ima dosta tih stvari koje sam pozaboravljao, sad kroz ovo ja se sjećam. There's some things that I forgot to mention before, which now sort of sitting down and thinking about them have come to mind. There are lots of things which you forget about and then when you start thinking about the issue you remember them. Na tom sastanku, znači kad sam ja izabran za komedanta, uh, at that meeting, uh, that is the meeting where I was elected to be commander. Uh, Nisam komandanta te vojske, to jest tih teritorijalnih odbrana, znači ja ništa nisam, nisam nešto više u odnosu što sam bio, znači odstup sam opet onaj lokalni, ali opet ne odrećem se onog svog zvanja komandanta, znači ja sam komandant i onaj Opet se ponašam ko vojnik, znači. Znači, 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 uh, at that meeting, uh, we agreed that uh, uh, Ahmed Tihic, uh, who was also a member of the HQ, and up until then had been, do, do, do and, and up until then, that is up until the formation of the HQ, uh, he had been a member of the Total Defence in Sucheska. A rodom je iz sela Skelami, tačno kod mosta u Bajnoj Vlašti. Uh, and he uh, was born in the village of Skelani, uh, right by the bridge that goes over towards uh, the, the Banya, Banya so, Vashta. So on the, uh, a bioactivist of SDA Stranci. And uh, because he had been a, an activist in the SDA party. U vrijeme zauzimanja uh, Skelana u strani četnika ovaj, prije znači nego što, što je što se policija 
stanci javne bezbednosti Srebrenica da razrešla Četnicu, zauzili Skelan i informirali svoje opštine? Sam informiranje srpske opštine Skelane svi aktivisti koji su bili u SDA stranci morali su pobjeći ili ako i nisu zarobili? A Ahmutića su Srbi najviše pozivali zato što je bio na tim predzbornim sastancima, skupovima kad su bile te nacionalne stranke, onda su ga upantili kova ekstremistu. I on je sa svojim bratom i sa svojim određenim prijateljima uz određeni broj ilegalnog naožanja koji je kupio na ovakav i onakav način, ne znam kako znači prije rata. Izbjegao iz opštine Skelane u teo Sučeska, to jest u mjestu zemlju Sučeska. I na tom sastanku smo se dogovorili da Ahmo i Nekić, Nekić, Dževad, onaj malo prije što sam rekao da ne znam mu ime, Nekić Dževad, isto je bio sad iz Kelana. And then at that meeting, together with Dževad Nekić, Dževad Nekić, Dževad, Dževad, that's Dežer i B-A-D, Nekic, N-E-K-I-N-C, whose name I had forgotten before, but now I remember, who was also from Skelani. Da se uputi preko onaj, preko, iz sela Bajramovići, preko Pusmolića. It was agreed that they would go from the village of Bajramovići, via the village of Puhurića. Da onaj, da se spoje da nađu, da se sastanu sa mjestom zemljicom Osad, Gorni kraj, ili u Osmaće da ovdje. Da se sastanu sa mjestom zemljicom Osad, Gorni kraj, ili u Osmaće da ovdje. Da se sastanu sa mjestom zemljicom Osad, Gorni kraj, ili u Osmaće da ovdje. Da se sastanu sa mjestom zemljicom Osad, Gorni kraj, ili u Osmaće da ovdje. Da se sastanu sa mjestom zemljicom Osad, Gorni kraj, ili u Osmaće da ovdje. Da se sastanu sa mjestom zemljicom Osad, Gorni kraj, ili u Osmaće da ovdje. Da se sastanu sa mjestom zemljicom Osad, Gorni kraj, ili u Os skupljeni muslimani koji su bili ispresjetani sa srpskim življem. Z-B-I-J-E-G Z-B-I-J-E-G which was an area where the muslim villages were very mixed in together with the serbian villages. Znači da ide u selo Poznanoviće In other words, that they go to the villages of Poznanovci, that's P-O-Z-A-N-O-V-I-C-H-I. Uselo Joševa. And then on to the village of Joševa, that's J-O-S-H-E-V-A. Uselo Miholjevne. To the village of Miholjevine, that's M-I-H-O-L-J-E-V-I-N-E. U Gladoviće, to Gladovići, that's G-L-A-D-O-V-I-C-H-I. Bešiće, Bešiće, that's B-E-S-H-I-C-H-I. I tako da uspostavi kontakt sa tim narodom i da vidi koliko ima mještana Skelana, iz Skelana. And so on, in order to get in contact with the people there, to see how many people from Skelana were in these villages. Da, ali striktno naožani. Striktno koji su imali, striktno koji su imali naožani, znači da je popisa naožani. And to see also what weapons they had. Da bi mogao da formira on jednu jedinicu iz, da se zove T.O. Skelani. 
so that he would be able to form a unit which would be called the Skelanitea uh, Turtle Event. Zadatak, uh, which would have the task da striktno da oslobađa zauzetu teritoriju od strane četnika ovaj teritoriju Skelana. Uh, the, the strict task of uh, liberating the area uh, of uh, the municipality of, of Skelani which had been uh, occupied by the Chetniks. I on je ovaj tako da je otišao i uh, formirao je prikupio je te mještane so he went down there and he formed, he collected uh, the locals. Istina nije bilo dosta zato što su Srbi ih iznenadili prije nego što su onaj što su uspjeli pobjeći pa su ih dosta zarobili, neki su pobili, neki ovaj otjerali u Srbiju na privremeni rad. There weren't very many of them. Uh, na rad, because, uh, there weren't very many of them because uh, the Chetniks had taken the village by surprise and not so many of them had managed to escape. Uh, many of them uh, had been captured, some of them were sent uh, to work in Serbia. They were um, prisoners in some combines or, or uh, agricultural uh, places where they worked in Serbia. So we had a very small number of these people. Sa tom grupom on je otišao u selo Jagodnja. Then he went to the village of Jagodnja. That's J A G O D N uh, N J A. Sa samim mještanima znači koji su već živjeli u Jagodnji i u selu Jagodnja i u selu Joševa. Uh, to, to, together then with the, the locals from the villages of Jagodnja and Joševa. Onda je pokušao znači tu organizovati neku oružanu vojnu formaciju and then try to he tried to organize a uh, a military formation here in this area koja se zvala Teo Biljek which was called uh, the the Biljek Biljek B I L B I L B I B B I L Biljek yeah Egg, Bilek. Uh -huh. which was called the Bilek, that's B I L J E G, total defense. Znači, to sam bio zaboravio zato onaj na tom sastanku smo onaj to bio. Um, I forgot about this. Uh, this was something that we had agreed at the meeting, at that meeting. Isto tako smo pričali na sastanku onaj da bi trebali sad da razmišljamo o Srebrenici. Uh, at the same time, we decided at that meeting that we should uh, consider Srebrenica. Kako uču u grad? How to go into the town? Znali smo da nemamo dovoljno municije na uružanja. We knew that we didn't have enough uh, munitions or weapons. Znali smo da ima logistike dosta u Srebrenici. But we knew that there was quite a lot of logistics in Srebrenica. Ali nismo znali kako da, da dođemo u Srebrenicu but we didn't know how to get to it. Umeđu vremenu, znači sve ovo dok mi planiramo, svakodnevno se vrši garantiranje, vrši se svakodnevno napadi na sve ove ovaj, rubne dijelove ovih teritorijalnih odbrana. In the meantime, while we were uh, planning, the, planning these operations, every day there were attacks, every day there were shelling, and there were attacks on the lines on the uh, outlying Svakodnevno trpimo znači onaj napade gdje ginu gdje nam gine dosta i civila i pripadnika teritorijalne odbrane. Every day we were we suffered attacks where uh, we, where we had a lot of civilians and uh, soldiers killed. Tako da to uh, već poprima jedan uh, jednu uh, uh, sliku gdje onaj nisi znao od danas do sutra da li će da preživiš. This created a, a, a picture where people didn't you, you didn't know if you were going to survive today or tomorrow. Ako ovaj preživiš od granate, nećeš preživjeti od gladi ili uh, if you survive the if you survive the shells, uh, then maybe you won't survive the hunger. Higijenski uslovi su onaj uh, vrlo bilo otežani tako da da su već počeli i zarazne bolesti da da se šire. Uh, very difficult to maintain uh, levels of hygiene so that uh, infectious diseases had already started. Sve to nekako išlo u, u krivo onaj 
ali sve na muslimanske snage koji su bile zatočene i na muslimanski narod koji su bio zatočen u samoj enklavi, u samom okruženju. This was all happening then to the Muslim people who were trapped in this enclave, who were surrounded in this area. Umeđu vremenu, znači, ove određene teritorijalne jedinice, teritorijalne odbrane, samo inicijativno, znači, usled jaki napada, oni onaj pružaju otvore četnicima, bore se s njima. So at the same time, these the smaller territorial defense units were organizing themselves of their own initiative. We uh, were organizing defense against the Chetniks, repelling attacks. So sometimes I would get, for example, a message from the courier that uh, the Chetniks had attached a vi attacked a village and taken it, that they burnt the village, that uh, that uh, the total defence had then managed to counter attack uh, and recapture the village and get up to the Chetnik lines. Traže pomoć sa drugih od drugih ovaj jedinica da se da dođu na na ispomoć. And they were asking for help from other units to come and help them. Onda to improvizujemo, znači zavisno od situacije na ostalim terenima koliko ko može poslati, koliko ko može dati. And then we would do this depending on the situation in the field in other areas, who was able to help and who was able to send supplies. Znači kompletno ovo sve što je to je sve improvizacija znači ono snalazi ženje na u vremenu i prostoru za sve zavisno od uslova znači in other words this this whole thing was was based on improvisation on on making do in the best possible way with with what we actually had to hand u među vremenu dobijamo informacije od najviše smo dobijali informacije o stanju u samom gradu Dakva Ustića uh, at the same time, we got information from uh, Akib Usic, uh, from the town of Srebrenica itself. Uh, who was the commander of the yeah, Stari Grad, uh, of Defense, which is Srebrenica. A Stari Grad je bio tačno iznad pijace, uh, ovaj, zidine starog grada su bile iznad pijace, znači iznad centra Srebrenica. So uh, the walls of the, of the old town of Stari Grad were immediately above uh, the, the main square in Srebrenica. Bio on bio oblik u potkovci za barkadiran, imao iza leđa šumu, tako da, da četnici nisu mogli da ga otjeraju odavno. And he was uh, he was dug in there uh, and had uh, the forest immediately behind him, so that the Czechs weren't able to drive him away from there. Gde on u toku noći uspijevo da se pojedini njegovi rođaci, uglavnom je to jedinica bila njegove familije i oni komšija koji su bili. His his unit was mainly made up of his his family and his neighbours who were there. I oni su se uspjevali spuštati noću da kradu hranu iz svojih sobstvenih kuća, da se vrate ponovno gore. They managed at night to go down and steal food from the houses nearby to take back up. I usput, znači, mogli su da izgledi situaciju u samom gradu, kakva je frekvencija vojnika u gradu i tako. And um, along the way, they were able to uh, to see what was happening in the town, to see uh, how frequently the soldiers were moving there. And uh, one meeting, I can't remember which one it was, he said that it was impossible to take Srebrenica. Umeđu vremena mi pokušavamo sada da ovaj da stupimo u kontakt sa ovim gore kad je Ahmotić odšao u te obiljeg, onda da stupimo u kontakt sa ovim ostalim selima, znači te u... At the same time we were trying to get in contact with these other territorial defenses from around the outside, from where Ahmotić had gone. Pokušavamo da pratimo situaciju, znači gore na tom terenu, kako četnici djeluju, kako napadaju, šta radi, koji su im... In other words, to be able to get an idea of what was the situation on the ground up there, 
how the Chetniks were attacking and how the situation was. Umeđu vremenu se dešava jedan slučaj. In the meantime, uh, something happens. Gdje uh, Akifove uh, jedinice where Akif's unit u jednom uh, od napada na, na, na Akifa, na njegov, na, na, njegov, na, na, na stari grad. Uh, in one of the attacks on, uh, on Akif, that is on, uh, on the stari grad, uh, gine jedan od telohranitelja, jedan četnik, gine jedan četnik od, to je čovjek koji je bio, četnik koji je bio telohranitelj, uh, uh, Gorana Zekića. Uh, it happened that uh, one of the bodyguards, uh, a Chetnik, of uh, Goran Zekic uh, died. That's uh, Goran, G-O-R-A-N, Zekic, Z-E-K-I-C-H. Uh, one of his bodyguards was, was killed. Uh, Goran Zekic is one of the most famous Chetnik in the of Bosnia. Uh, Goran Zekic was the most notorious Chetnik in Eastern Bosnia. Koji je bio, uh, organizator svih aktivnosti koje se dešavale na tom području kako politički tako i vojni uh, who was the organizer of all the uh, events which took place there whether they were political or military uh, on je bio jedan od predsjednika reg, te regije kompletne regije onaj te drinske doline he was uh, one of the SDS-a. He was uh, one of the presidents of the regions, one of the SDS presidents of the regions, of this, this whole region uh, of the, the, the valley of the river Drina. Tako da sve ovo što nam se desilo do sad, što sam izbričao, je to sve prvo, sve aminovo, znači sve odobravao i dogovarao Goran Zekić. So, in other words, all the things that had happened to us so far, all of these things had been um, either agreed or approved by Goran Zekic. Tako da su muslimani onaj čuli za njega kad 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 spomeneš njegovo ime kao ovaj svi su legla se krv u u vjenama kad kažu da Goran Zekic treba da naiđe tako. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, among the pop- among the muslim population uh, he was very notorious and uh, the blood would, would chill when they heard his name. Rekli ste da sve što se dogodilo vama do sada je Goran Zekić odobrio. Odobrao, znači kao čovjek, kao čovjek broj jedan u političkom sistemu SDS-a. Znači sve te uh, uh, ekst, ekstremne te grupe, svi ti, svi ti, uh, uh, sva ta politička djelovanja, sve te onaj, vojne i paravojne jedinice su, su uh, sve se vrtilo oko njega, jednostavno so these, sva zbivanja oko to, oko all, to all imena. These, all these extremists, all these political groups, all the things that were happening, it all circled around him. Nisam, uh, nisam... Uh, uh, da me ne svatite bukvalno da je on sad onaj uh, naređivao vojne operacije ono, ali je sigurno imao najviše upliva onaj u, u ko, ko, ko ga je postavio zašto i tako dalje znači um, I don't want you to understand me literally uh, now that he was uh, organizing the military operations um, okay, but okay, he would certainly so. have an influence on who was appointed to the post jednostavno on je bio taj uh, uh, čovjek jednostavno kreator zla je bio on jedini čovjek ko, ko, on je među, među tim ljudima bio je od srpski, srpskog naroda najpriznatiji slušao su svi njega uh, he was uh, one of the creators of all this amongst the serbian uh, people there he was uh, he enjoyed the, the highest level of status srpskom narodu je bio čovjek broj 1 uh, in the Serb- among the serbian people he was uh, man number 1 i svi su se kleli u njega svi su se kleli u njega zaklinjali Yeah, and and uh, they all uh, swore on his name. Zato što je to stara četnička porodica. Because this Familia. is because this is an old uh, Chetnik family. I pošto Srbi gledaju istoriju, oni onaj prate redovnu istoriju, oni su i sad onaj htjeli da to bude neko iz četničke uh, familije. Uh, as the uh, as the Serbs uh, look to history, 
uh, they wanted the leader to be someone uh, from the Chetnik family, yeah. number one. I, znači, uh, dešava se, dešava se onaj, u, u pogibija tog njegovog bodyguarda. Uh, so then the, uh, the death of his bodyguard happens. Koji je bio rodom uh, iz sela Solotša. Uh, who was uh, from originally from the village of uh, Solochusha, that's S O L O C H U S H A. Azal Selich Dragan. And his name was Dragan Ilich, that's D R A G A N I L I C H. To selo je bilo, znači, onaj naseljeno, znači, mješovita sredina je bila, pola muslimana i pola. This village was a mixed village, half half Serb, half Muslim, but but with more Serbs. To je prijedgrađe, znači Srbenci. It's a kad idemo iz Bratca potučara prema Srbenci. It's it's a suburb really of Srebrenica. When you go from the direction of Potučari, it's that part of Srebrenica that direction. A naslanja se na selo srpsko selo Gnjilu. And it's uh, it's very close to the Serbian village of Gniono. 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 Uh, the, the majority of the Muslim uh, population of this village uh, had fled to the village of Batsuta, that's B-A-C-U-T-A. Sami uzimanjem linija iznad sela Gniona, znači kad smo uzijeli mi četničke linije iznad Gnione, When we took the, uh, the Chetnik lines above the village of uh, Gniona, seljaci Gnioni, mještani Gnioni se povukli the the inhabitants of that village then left and went to the villages of Solochusa and to Srebrenica itself. Sad narod koji je bio izbjegao muslimanski narod iz ovih rubnih sela koje četnik svakodnevno granatirao i onaj pucao po tim kućama. The refugees who had fled from the villages around the edge that the Chetniks were shelling every day, where it simply wasn't safe to be. Ovaj, i Soloči ljudi su isto tako pobjegli u celo Bacitu, i Oševa, isto i Oševa. So in this way, said people left the villages. People left the villages of Yosheva and Solov and Solovusha to. To the Muslim village. Yosheva is a Muslim village. Koje bilo zboka Gniola. It was on. It was on the flank of Gniola. S obzirom da su svi ti mjesta nimali svoju stoku koju su čuvali hrali u poštalama. Given that all these people had their livestock which they kept in in. In barns, in oni su dolazili iz sela Bacuta i Joševa i hranili stopu. They would come from the villages of Joševa and Bacuta to and Bacuta to feed the, the livestock. Tako da da onaj su znali da je saznali su kroz ovaj dole vjerovatno je bilo neki koji su pričali sa 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 određenim komšijama jer onaj and probably some of them, they, they found out, and probably some of them were talking to some of their uh, neighbors who were there. Bilo i takvi koji su pričali, komunicirali su, ali nisu ostali da žive, nego su išli svako na sredstvo. There were those who, uh, who would talk to the neighbors there, but didn't stay to live in the village. They say they went to other villages and just came back to feed the livestock. I znali su da je Dragan Ilić poginu u gore, da je ga da je poginu u napad na stari grad. And then they, they, they knew, they found out that Dragan Ilić had died on this, during this attack on stari grad. I jedan dan ovaj, čujemo samo da je poginu Goran Zekić. And then one day we heard that Goran Zekić had also died. Kako je poginu? I'm sorry, how he had died. Dolazeći svom Bodyguard on a Saharan. He came. He came with his. This is how he died. He came with his bodyguards to the funeral. 
Ovo sad što pričam, znači to sam saznao kasnije. Znači objašnjavam vam... Everything that I'm telling you now I found out later. Sve ovo što vam objašnjavam vam sad, znači objašnjavam vam kako smo zauzili Srebrenicu. I'm explaining to you... Način kako smo zauzili Srebrenicu. I'm explaining to you how we, uh, how we took Srebrenicu, the way in which we took Srebrenicu. Znači Goran Zekić dolazi na sahranu svom bodyguardu. So, uh, Goran Zekić comes to his bodyguard's funeral. Jedan umak koji je živio odnosno student prve godine koji je živio imao je 18-19 godina to je student, je li tako prve godine? 18 godina koji je živio onaj u selu Bacuta ili Oševa, ne sjećam se dolazeći da nahrani svoj stok tu Oče u stoku koji je otac njegov imao. Came down to feed his father's livestock in the village of Solotusha. Bio je blizu groblja gdje je bila sahrana. Which was close to the cemetery where the funeral was taking place. I vjerovatno je vidio Gorana Zekića na sahranu. And probably he saw Goran Zekić at the funeral. U povratku Gorana Zekića sa sahrane prema onaj selu Zalazije, srpskom selu Zalazije, Uh, as uh, Goran Zekić was returning from the funeral to the Serbian village of Zalaze, na jednoj od krivina je sačekao njegovo vozilo. Uh, he then waited for his vehicle on one of the bends of the road. Po izjavama sad, znači, to je ostalo ne, ne, ne razjašnjeno, nikad niko nije mogo saznao. Ali po izjavama nekih uh, koji su pretpostavljali, uh, Never able to find out exactly what happened, but according to uh, statements of some of the people, on je bacio bombu na vozilo. He threw a bomb at the uh, threw a, a bomb a grenade at the vehicle. U momentu kad je bacio bombu, uh, bomba je oskočila i uh, nosila u stvar bomba je uh, nošena na haubi. Uh, the, 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 the grenade went along the bonnet of the car. S obzirom da je bio dijete i nije bio ni ovaj, služio armije, niti je bio vojnik. On je stavio ispred vozla i u momentu na lijetanja vozla on je namio bombu. Ona je bomba je nanešena. To je bilo, sve su bilo par sekundi. Uh, he was standing... Ispred auto je stavio? Ja, ja, stavio, stavio je, ako... ako Vjerovatno, znači, ne znam, to je prezostavka. Uh, on, on je bio tu vozilo kad je najlazilo, on je bacio bombu ispred i bomba je bila na haubi. Jer kasnije je nađeno uh, vozilo tu koje je bilo sokrvalo, bilo uh, vozilo hitne pomoći je bilo to lada, krava. So he, uh, he was standing, probably was able to work out, he was standing by the side of the road as the car approached him, through the... Uh, through the, the grenade onto the bonnet of the car. Um, the car, he then in some way managed to be in front of the car so that he then fell onto the bonnet himself yeah. when the grenade went off. He on the bacio bombu and bomba je u naletu vozilo je donijelo bombu blizu njeg i bomba je u tom momentu eksplodirala, ubila i njeg. And so the, the grenade then when it exploded killed him. Ubila Gorana Zekića. Killed Goran Zekić. A sa Goranom čovjek Delivoje se zove, a zove se Delivoje. 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 With Goran Zekić was a man by the name of Delivoje, that's D-E-L-I-V-O-J-E. On je preživio tu zasim. He survived this ambush. Tako je on pričao. And so this is what he told. Samom pogledom Gorana Zekića a ovaj momak što je ga ubio, student ovaj što je bio, zvao se Djevad. This student who killed him was called Djevad. That's D-J-E-V-A-D. A ne znam prijezime. Jel Hasanović? Ja ne znam prijezime. Is Hasanović I'm not sure, I don't know. Djevad se zvao sigurno. But I know that his name was Djevad. Prijezime ne znam. Onaj. I onaj, posle toga, Roditelji su dražili Djevada, rekli su, prijavili su nam da je otišao dole, a da se ne zna gdje je. After this, his parents reported to us that Djevad was missing, that he had gone down to feed the livestock and had disappeared, they didn't know where he was. 
Niko nije znao. Familija njegova otišla dole u poštala da traži. His family went down to the barn to see. During the night, of course. Nisu 